alikuwa hawaoni affirmative sasa hii sisi ndio tunaambiwa kuna watu wanatambua affirmative asante sana waziri shukran <laughs> thank you so much for the compliments you know we should be Gideon in one minute please yeah because we should be also in the house there are two important businesses okay i yeah. uh, thank you chair just one minute waziri my question pertains to an agency in eldoret there's an agency in eldoret called uh, first choice recruitment agency this agency is owned by somebody called judy chipchirchir all arms of government is kind of they have been unable to touch that lady uh, there is an investigation by the senate the ag came to the Senate, promised the Senate that uh, the Labour Committee in the Senate that uh, action will be taken, nothing so far. The agency is still continuing to recruit members of the public, uh, lying to them that they will take them to abroad, specifically Qatar, uh, UAE, and Saudi, and, Saudi, and some, some to Poland. Myself, members of my family, uh, were part of that uh, who, who were called but when I made noise in August members of my, pub, uh, my family were, were, were you know refunded but in my own constituency of KU South constituency I have 76 members of the public some 100,000 some 200,000 some 40,000 but when we make this noise there is rumors in Eldoret because the people who have been uh, duped by this lady are from El Geo Marakwet County, Wasingishu County, Nandi County, and some majority from the three counties. And then the rest in Nakuru and uh, Transoya. When we make noise, there's rumors in Eldoret that this is a deep state, that she's untouchable. Some of us who have made some little noise, some people threaten us that there's nowhere you'll go. As the Minister for Internal Security, if myself as a member of parliament are making this noise, and nobody can listen. What about that member of public out there in Eldoret? Who is Judy Chepchirchir? When there was the issue of taking people abroad, she was paraded around as the person to take people abroad. That she's now, she will lead the government policy on the issue of labor abroad. Was he real to say idea, Asante? You can address to <laughs> thank you chair i i forgot in one second i forgot to answer the the question which was directed at me on whether there is a contradiction between what uh, the director of this of the criminal investigations said about the departure from the country of the officials of world coin and what i have said here and I want to confirm to the committee that there is no contradiction. It is true that uh, uh, the p p uh, police through the DCI are defected stop orders um, against uh, the concerned people. And they had filed those stop orders with immigration and we had placed a red alert and it is true what the dci said when those officials attempted to leave the country i can't recall which day it was but i sometimes last week around uh, 10 pm they were prevented and they were taken to the custody but i have already said that there was intervention diplomatic intervention by the government of the United States of America. And the two governments reached an understanding that instead of detaining these uh, people when we have not arrived at a point where we have established that they have committed crimes, they should be allowed to leave the country. And the government of the United States of America has pledged 
to surrender uh, these people if they are needed. So it is true what the DCI said is true, and I was personally involved, and therefore I want to take responsibility and uh, also assure the country that when those people are needed, we will bring them back. If they are needed, they will come back. And then uh, I have been asked to, because one was a compliment from the member of uh, Lamu East. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, the, the, the last one by the member for KO South. I, if, a, if a complaint has been lodged in a police station about the possibility of a crime having been committed around that issue, I would ask for three days to respond to that matter in writing to the member or to the committee, because it's been asked through this committee. But if a complaint has not been done, we don't interfere with the working of either other arms of government. This matter is a labor matter. But if it has security implications, just like this matter, it was not a security matter, it was a trade commerce issue. But if there are security matters and an OB entry, a complaint has been lodged in a police station anywhere in this country, let me know. I will follow up and I undertake within three days to respond and um, to the satisfaction of the member, the committee, and the public. Otherwise, we don't interfere because we can't run uh, the Ministry of Labor have their mandate, other ministry have their mandate. We only come in when offenses have been committed and when a complaint has been lodged. Thank you. So thank you so much, Waziri. Uh, we need to come to the end of this. And uh, just one matter before we conclude. It is a little bit uh, out of uh, the world queen. Uh, when Waziri, there is, uh, it just come to our knowledge that uh, there is something like a majority in the north, uh, northern part of the country, some clans who are coming up with their flags. I don't know whether you're aware. Mostly in the Muslims communities in the northern part of the country. The, every clan is coming up with a flag, a flag, a flag. We do 